good everyone and welcome to Empire Total War and the American Civil War mod for it. Um, what version is this? I am pretty sure it's the latest one. Not entirely sure on that since I downloaded this um, quite a while ago. But now I'm here to play it. Uh, mostly because I... Sorry. <coughs> I'm running another Total War series on the uh, the new one um, what's it called uh, Warhammer yes the Warhammer one and I'm seeing that that's not very popular so I'm testing something else out and I know that the Civil War has done quite well in the past so we're gonna do it uh, that's what we're gonna do today so let's go ahead and start a new campaign and since I've done uh, quite a bit of a um, uh, bit of American Civil War before, and I've concentrated quite a lot on the Confederates, today we're going to do the Union instead. And yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and start this. The Union, which can alone ensure internal peace and external security to each state must and shall be preserved. So here we have it. Uh, we start off with no armies and we can see that the Confederates as well don't start off with anything. The first thing I want to do is before the Confederates are able to set up trade deals with all kinds of people, we're gonna try to go in. Yes, we got the British. French don't like us, but maybe we can get them to... Yes, they agreed. Grand Columbia. Do you want it? Yes. Haiti. Do you want trade? They want trade as well. Mexico. Do you want trade? Mexico <laughs> wants Maryland and a military alliance. You're an idiot. Um, Spain. Do you want trade? Spain wants trade. The United Provinces want trade. So I've m more or less um, not strangled the Confederacy, but um, since I uh, actually the Confederacy right now is quite friendly with me, we could set up trade with them as well. But the only real trade partner that I had, well, of course they can also have the same trade partners and partner as I do but um, since I, I will be on a friendlier relationship status with the the, uh, the, the states in question um, so that will obviously help me a lot more um, than uh, than for them uh, now there's a lot of building that needs to be done throughout um, the states and I thought I'd actually do that off camera and then I come back once I've done that and we can go ahead and start maybe building some armies here and there we need some armies just to protect some of the frontier boards uh, borders we actually don't start off with war with the Confederates there, there's about a f three four turns before the war actually starts, we get uh, we get some time to prepare for the war, and also I don't actually want to build the armies too soon. Um, I want a few troops, but I want to wait until sort of the historical time um, when they start building, uh, because I've played this one a little bit before sort of test played it and the uh, the AI doesn't really go ahead and start building armies as soon as possible they'll wait quite a bit until they start so you there's uh, this quite an advantage I'm already the north so I have quite an advantage over the south I don't want to have a even bigger advantage by having my armies ready to assault the south uh, while they're sort of scrambling together with a f s with smaller units, you know, like the AI does running about all over the place. But anyways, um, I'll go ahead and uh, 
build some stuff and I'll be back to show you a bit of about the armies and then we'll end turn. Right. Okay, so there we're back. Uh, I've gone ahead and built everything that I need to and as we can see I only have a thousand left. But I want to sort of go through what, what the main points are and I've set it up so we've got three points, specific points uh, of where I'm going to recruit troops. Uh, this one over here is going to be um, in uh, Philadelphia, where we're going to be able to push troops. Oh, damn it! Go troops down through here. Then the middle point will be St. Louis, Missouri, and then we've got this one out here to provide cannons for this, but also possibly bringing its own army, sort of in a three-pronged attack, possibly going this way. Um, this way, or actually this way, and then this way, and then we'll have something here. We'll build some army here to defend. Uh, obviously, in um, uh, Washington, we need something. We're gonna need something here. I don't think we're gonna need. We might need some troops over there, but just to stabilize the border. But right now, I'm not gonna recruit any troops. We're going to wait until we've got some better troops. Actually, we can go ahead and spend that, so I've spent everything, I've set up the trade, let's go ahead and enter. Okay, so... Quite loud music, I'm not sure if I can change the volume on that, hopefully. Um, yeah. Uh, so, they want... They want Maryland, Kentucky and Kansas Territory in exchange for New Mexico, explosive shells, socket bayonets and 25,000 gold. Now, 25,000 gold is a lot, but I would be giving up a lot of territory, which I would have to take back during the actual war. So, this is ludicrous. And you can go stuff yourself, you cotton-loving... Uh, silly bottom so we have no interest in that so quite a few things here have been built quite a few railroads and stuff um, but as war has not yet and actually they really haven't seceded yet so oh what's this they gave up Wichita Fall Upper Texas to the Dutch what kind of deal did they strike? I've never, I've never seen this before. The Dutch. What kind of deal the Confederates? They're allied. They've got an alliance with the Dutch. Let's see if we can see. The Dutch likes us a lot more. They actually ceased trading with us, but they still like us a lot more. So we want... Uh, no, not with you. We want with the Dutch. Let's see what the Dutch... Ah, oh, we still have trade with them. But let's see if we can get a military alliance with them. Ah, now they're military alliance with both of us. And I think we are... Uh, they're more happy with us. So... But that was strange, they gave away Upper Texas to the Dutch. Um, right, what I want to do is we want to make sure that we have the latest military buildings being built in these locations and then we want to make sure that the railroads in a number of states need to be up to scrap so we can quickly move troops through these areas. And in case we lose those frontier territories, Boston, Massachusetts is going to be um, sort of the, um, what's it called? It's going to be the fallback position, I guess. Um, we've got 3,000 left. We can invest in some, uh, in some farms, frontier farming. Maybe some fur trade. We can, oh, there I'd missed one. I'd missed a farm. There's quite a lot of farms all over the place. Then 
of these. Ah, yes, there's, I missed another one. So you can see me go just going through all of this takes quite a time. Um, and then I've also gone ahead and start building on these to sort of increase the trade. As we can see here, I make quite a lot of money through through trade here. Um, in through this uh, port at New York, um, we get about 5,000. So we get a lot of trade here. Uh, let's go ahead and end turn. I wonder if there was any other silly deals. If the um, like the British gave away anything or something. It doesn't look like it. Um, but usually, I think that's going to happen pretty soon. Usually the British, yeah, as you can see, they're pretty unhappy here in Canada. And usually what happens is the rebel army, Indian army spawns and destroys this this trade port which stops trade with Britain um, and that's usually quite a lot of money so we can see uh, a lot of these frontier states not too happy so we want to uh, start oh actually the tax is on the as low as it gets so we want to build those up as well so we can start taxing it a bit more let's go ahead and end turn trade agreement and they give us explosive shells you know what this is a great deal actually so great great deal now they're allied with Mexico as well but they're not they don't got trade with Mexico they got trade with us uh, the south secedes so now we actually got the um, secession going. So the South secedes uh, when, Ala when, Abra when Alabama Lincoln when <laughs> Alabama Lincoln when Abraham Lincoln a Republican staunch unionist and known opponent to slavery is elected president of the United States of America the South Carolina legislature perceived, perceived this as a threat uh, calling a state convention, the delegates vote to remove the state of South Carolina from the Union on the 20th of December 1860, claiming it their constitutional right to do so. The secession of the South of uh, South Carolina is followed by Mississippi, Florida, Alabama, Georgia, Louisiana, and Texas. In contrast, the uh, territory of Kansas is given statehood and admitted into the Union. First use of the telescopic star site, and then there's a load of info about uh, uh, sharpshooters and their equipment. So, they've just voted to secede, as you can see here. Uh, although I'm not sure about part there, Upper Texas, what, what they're gonna do. Um, but we're not going to panic us yet, are we? We're going to keep a cool for a while longer. Let's see. How's the oh, they're still a bit unhappy. So we want to build on that further. Same time, we also want to... Be the railroads are being built. So we'll go ahead and build up these locations um, to, uh, to get the happiness level up to scrap at this point we still possibly see a political solution to uh, the south seceding so we don't want to provoke them by raising a load of troops so we're still seeking a, a solution to this uh, this secession. Damn it! And there we go. And the South hasn't raised any troops either. Of their own yet, so we're on the the up and up. Right, let's go ahead and end turn again.
Confederate States declares war on us. And we were going to call our ally to aid us. And they join our side. The Dutch actually joins in. So uh, the Dutch join the, the Union at the start of the war. Because they own Upper Texas, which they got in some trade deals with the South. Trade agreement has been cancelled. The South creates a government. Uh, technically, there's a bit, actually, a f uh, like one or two turns more until they fire in Fort Sumter. But since the South is going to go ahead and declare war on us and starting raising troops, we need to, to do so as well. Everything has fallen, the negotiations are out the window. The South creates a government. At a convention in Montgomery, Alabama, the seven seceding states create the Confederate Constitution. Uh, Southern Democrat Jefferson Davis is named as the provincial president of the Confederacy until elections can be held and Southern state troops begin to siege, seize federal forts and military stores throughout the South, stating that these are now Confederate state property. And then we got uh, Robert E. Lee and some information about him, quite a lot of him. And yes, the Confederates are starting to raise troops, or at least we got Robert E. Lee here, and we got one unit of uh, Confederate line infantry. We got Confederate, actually Confederate militia is moving around there. And so I need to raise my own troops. I'm gonna raise, I'm gonna raise three units there, plus a cavalry unit. And we're gonna do the same over here. To protect this. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to gonna go ahead and set up the generals, which we got um, McCallan over here, and out here we're going to have the um, uh, Sherman. He's gonna go ahead and take charge of. Uh, Actually, we need two up here. We need one to actually be the general here and one to be down at uh, uh, Missouri. So we're gonna uh, go ahead and have Sherman and um, Sherman and Grant's gonna be here. So Grant is probably gonna be stationed here and Sherman's gonna move down to take up this position. Uh, we're gonna have McKellen take charge of the armies here and then we're gonna have one general move over to possibly aid or set up at Kentucky and that's good but that's uh, gonna be a ma minor army so we want a minor general um, or not, maybe not minor general but we want yes um, Joshua L Chamberlain which um, let's see here American College professor from the state of Maine who volunteered during the American Civil War. So he, he was the guy from the 20th Main there. Uh, but yet we haven't gone into full mode and start uh, pushing out troops like crazy. Right, let's go ahead and end turn. <laughs> Mistake here by my son, uh, the uh, Confederates with <laughs> it says Hugo Bull, but it's actually Joseph E. Johnson uh, goes ahead and actually attacks Kentucky with 972 men. And uh, luckily, though, we have a garrison of some state militia of 720 troops. We're gonna go ahead and save beforehand. Yeah, I had some trouble with battles crashing, so we'll see how this goes. Right, let's go ahead and start this.
If the Confederacy falls, there should be uh, there should be written on its tombstone, "Died of a theory." It's loading pretty quick, so I don't think I have to. Uh, maybe I'll cut this. I'm not sure. So we got two units against uh, quite a few of theirs. Can I dig these guys in? Nope. Uh, position this one in the forest over there, and this one next to it. And that's gonna be. Uh, Battalion for what? We're gonna move slightly on an angle to them. As the Confederates move up. 30th Regiment of Foot. Confederate Volunteer Infantry. Regiment of Foot. 17th. 31st. It's gonna be troublesome. We're gonna see about if our boys can hold out against superior numbers of the Confederacy. We're gonna hold and we're gonna see about if we can sort of let them come in a bit before we open fire on them. Let's go ahead and speed this up. It's bad if I lose Kentucky this uh, this early on. Let's see? Nope. Okay, they're gonna fire immediately. Confederates. Fire! We're taking quite a few casualties. This one has lost 30 men, losing even more as we speak. We've on about 20 on this unit. Okay, uh, we're losing we're losing a lot of men fast. Um, I could retreat, possibly up towards here where we got a wall to hide behind. Because right now we're not doing well at all. Because these guys are actually aiming for these. I think both are actually aiming for the one in the center. Yeah, these guys are shaken. And these guys are winded, even though they've just stood there. I guess it's because of the snow. Yeah, this is not gonna go well. And now the game fucking crashed as and well. And there we are for the actual battle. Got these two units right here. We're gonna defend against superior numbers. Um, we get some shelter from standing in the forest, so we'll move like so and prepare for the Confederates. And they even got some chevrons on this unit. Militia is ready. I doubt it. But at least we have higher numbers. There's 360 men in each of ours, and there's 320 in theirs. They're playing their funky tune as they march up. Here comes the 
the volleys. This one lost five, seven. We lost. Wait, what? We're down to. Wait, we lost that many men. <laughs> this unit has almost lost a hundred men. Fall back immediately. We're getting cut to pieces. Crap! We lost almost a hundred men now, but normally you don't... Shit! Fall back! We're gonna fall back and see about hiding behind the walls up here. Run! Hopefully that will be enough to... Uh... Holy crap, we lost a lot of men. The ones that were exposed down here, not in the forest. The confederates just tore straight through them. But these guys are, of course, regular foot. And they've got chevrons. Get behind that wall. Ah, this unit was hit as they moved in. Uh, uh, hurry. You're gonna hold up there. Damn, they're losing tons of men. They've lost 200 troops. But they're still going. They know that this is an important battle for the continuation of the United States of America. Hold the boys! We need to hold this here wall! Men of Kentucky! Open fire! Confederates march on strong as ever. It's a bad angle. Most, most of our shots are landing right in front there. Not a lot of them. But as soon as the enemy gets up here on the hill, there is when we'll see it. But then, of course, they'll be able to fire back as well. Wait, are they charging? They do not have bayonets, do they? Sound the charge! Sound the charge! Oh my god! Hold! The weak unit can't hope to stand. Fall back! Fall back! Form line behind your friends. Joseph E. Johnson charges in. That probably is going to cost him his life. Damn, the Confederates are just pulling through. They're overrunning the state of Kentucky. Well, if the large unit is retreating, then the smaller one isn't gonna stand. Yeah, it's retreating soon as well. I misjudged the situation. Holy crap, decisive defeat. This starts off bad. Them Confe the Confederacy 
is a lot tougher and a lot they only lost 70 men and we lost everything and of those 70 eight of them were killed by their own men we lost Kentucky holy crap we need to raise our forces immediately here comes the Indians uh, army destroyed Kentucky was lost slavery in slaver states uh, information about slavery and I just raised my generals luckily though we don't got a lot of movements here of the, uh, the confederates um, then where the where should I move uh, Chamberlain have to move to Ohio then and he'll, he'll have to raise an army in Ohio to retake that at the same time I'll actually move Ulysses Grant to uh, Missouri and we'll have to raise an army here as well uh, what do we need we need cannons, two officers, four Union volunteers to hold that, and we'll start already by recruiting troops in Ohio and one cavalry. We have that force already ready here, and then McKellen needs some troops. He's gonna have uh, three regulars. And then he's gonna have um, two Hobbitsers to start off with. Then we've got an extra 9,000. That was bad losing that. I wasn't expecting that. Damn. Uh, we're gonna have. We need better roads to be able to move in between these states very quickly. So the first fight was lost in Kentucky was overrun but we'll come again and we'll come again a lot stronger we're still I think a lot more we got a lot more money uh, than our enemies down in the south let's see if I can't Confederate States if you just open up uh, we're just basically the same so it doesn't really say here how's it going we got the Dutch on our sides or on our sides uh, on our side <laughs> in Upper Texas but I'm not entirely sure what's going on with them can we secure trade with Mexico Apparently they've received a state gift, which makes them a little, a little bit happy. Ah, we got trade with Mexico now as well. We got trade with everyone, even France, which has actually a little bit. Uh, they're a little bit uh, hostile towards us. But we're making a lot of money here, and uh, that was that on the first battle we lost. Anyways, looking at the time, I'm going to have to end it here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!